Good morning, good morning. Today, guess what we're gonna read today? Do you know? Yeah. It is Franklin's Neighborhood. You have a neighborhood, I have a neighborhood. Right? It's where we live. It's right around where we live. It's our house, it's our housing track, all the houses around us, or apartments. And it's the gas station and the grocery store and all the stuff that's right there in our neighborhood. Okay, we're gonna read about Franklin's. Franklin's Neighborhood by Paulette Burgess. I don't know, and Brenda Clark. We'll call her Paulette B. I'm gonna have to learn how to say her name correctly someday. Okay, here we go. Franklin could count to 10 and back again and say the alphabet without stopping. He liked drawing pictures and he loved show and tell. So when Mr. Owl assigned the first project of the year, Franklin was ready. Go Franklin, go Franklin. We live in a neighborhood, explained Mr. Owl. And our neighborhood is made up of houses and stores and gardens, said Snail. And a hospital, added Badger. Exactly, said Mr. Owl. Now, for tomorrow, I want each of you to draw a picture of what you like best about our neighborhood. What do you like best, asked Franklin. Mr. Owl thought for a moment. The school, he replied. Everyone laughed. Of course, the teacher likes the school, right? When Franklin got home, he hurried to his room. Do you want a snack? asked his mother. No, thanks, said Franklin. I have a project to do. Good for Franklin, getting right to it. Franklin took out his crayons and his paper. Then he sat down to think. Hmm. Hmm. He thought about the ice cream store. Mmm, that's a yummy thought, right? Then the bicycle trail and then the soccer field. Franklin sighed, oh. choosing the best thing about his neighborhood was not going to be easy. Poor Frankie boy. Franklin went to find his mother. Could I please, could, could I have that snack now, please? He asked. I think my brain is hungry. But after three fly cookies <laughs> and two glasses of milk, Franklin still hadn't decided what he liked best. Why don't you go for a walk around the neighborhood, suggested his mother. That might help, said Franklin. He got his paper and crayons, and off he went. Fly cookies. Franklin met Beaver in the meadow. I finished my project, Beaver announced. I picked the library, and I went there right after school to draw my picture. Franklin thought about story time with Mrs. Goose, the librarian. That's a good idea, Franklin said. Maybe that's what I'll draw. He waved goodbye and headed for the library. Hmm. Now, when we have a project to do, should we take somebody else's idea? Nay, nay. We should think of our own. Let's see what Franklin does. Franklin was sitting on the library steps when Fox came by. Have you finished your project, asked Fox. Franklin shook his head. I was gonna draw the library, but on my way here, I saw the movie theater. I can't make up my mind. I chose the fire station, said Fox. Franklin remembered the time Chief Wolf let him sit in the fire truck. That's a good idea, Franklin said. Maybe that's what I'll draw. He collected his paper and crayons and set off. Oh my, oh my, whoops, 
You guys are going to have to start saying that with me. That's a good idea. Maybe that's what I'll draw. Franklin was outside the fire station when he saw Moose. Have you finished your project? asked Moose. No, Franklin sighed. I was going to draw the fire station. But on the way here, I saw other places I liked just as much. I like the pond best of all, said Moose. Franklin thought about swimming and skating with his friends. That's a good idea. Did you guys say it with me? That's a good idea, Franklin answered. Maybe that's what I'll draw. He said goodbye and headed for the pond. Of course he did. Silly Franklin. Franklin was staring at the water when Bear came along. What's the matter? asked Bear. I can't decide what to draw from my project, said Franklin. I like too many things. My best place is the berry patch, said Bear. Franklin thought about all the times that he and Bear had picked berries together. See, said Franklin, another great idea. What about the parks, Bear suggested. Franklin thought about playing with his friends on the swings and the slide. That's it, declared Franklin. He said goodbye to Bear and hurried off. What do you think? Is that it? That's it. Franklin's mother found him sitting alone on the teeter-totter. Did the walk help, she asked. Not really, replied Franklin. There are so many great things in our neighborhood. Franklin's mother gave him a hug. Let's go home and talk, she said. I made your favorite supper. Franklin grinned. At least I know what that is. He's thinking, I don't know anything else, but at least I know what my favorite food is. Franklin felt a bit better after broccoli soup and fly pie. Ugh. I'm ready to think again, he said. Then he asked his parents what they liked best about the neighborhood. I like the farmer's market on Saturday mornings, said his mother. Franklin smiled. He loved farber, farber. <laughs> he loved farmer rabbits, sweet peas, and farmer, <laughs> oh my goodness, and farmer squirrels, fly brown, what? Fly brownies? I know that you are a turtle, but please. And I like my chess club, said father. Franklin agreed. He liked belonging to the chess club too. I <laughs> got all flustered with all that fly stuff. Anyway, then Franklin remembered something. Is it true that Mr. Heron is moving, he asked. Mr. Heron was the president of the chess club. Yes, it's true, replied Franklin's father. I'm going to miss him very much. This neighborhood won't be the same without him. There he is right there. Franklin nodded. He was going to miss Mr. Heron too. Suddenly, Franklin knew what he wanted to draw. I know what I like best, he said. Franklin ran to his room and started working. What do you think it is? Finally, he came up with something, right? All on his own. At school the next day, everyone was excited. It was time to see the projects. Raccoon went first. I drew the river, he said. I drew the forest, said Hawk. Finally, it was Franklin's turn. He unrolled a huge sheet of paper. It was covered with drawings of almost everyone that Franklin knew. I don't get it, said Beaver. Do you know why he didn't get it? Look. We've got a river, we've got, I don't know, what is that, the forest. We've got all these places that they like best, right? And he drew a bunch of people. That's different, isn't it? 
Let's see what he says. Franklin smiled. I drew my neighbors, he said. That's what I like best about my neighborhood. Well, I'll be. That's a great idea, right? Isn't that what you like best about things? It's not really the things. It's not really the places. It's the people you share it with. It's mom and dad and your sister or your brother, right? Friends. And I see a wasp. Stay out of here. Anyway. But yes, it is your friends. It's the people, not the things. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story about Franklin's neighborhood. I love you. Have a great day. Mwah!